What's up everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and in this video I wanted to show you the Hockey Shot Roll-Up Shooting Pad. Now as the name suggests, the roll-up shooting pad can be used as a shooting pad um, or it can also be used as a stick handling surface. And to tell you the truth, I actually prefer it as a stick handling surface. The main reason why is because it's huge. It's four feet by eight feet, um, so it gives you plenty of room to do a lot of dipsy doodling, stick handling, uh, plenty of range of motion to be able to work on different skills. So I really like it as a, shooting, or as a stick handling pad, but it can also be used as a shooting pad. Either way will work really well for you. Um, the main reason you're going to want to use a stick handling pad while you're working on your stick handling is, there, well there's actually two reasons. First and foremost you want a good surface that won't ruin your stick. Um, you want to be able to use the same stick that you're going to use in a game as you're working on these skills off the ice. So use your game stick, you don't want to ruin it in the process. Um, that's the first reason. So it's going to protect your stick. Next thing is, is that you want a surface that the pucks are going to slide well for you. So um, you know, using it on concrete generally isn't the best way of doing it. There are a couple couple of specialty pucks out there that can work on concrete, but even the specialty pucks, as well as they work on concrete, they're always going to work better on a skill pad for you. So you're definitely going to want some sort of a surface to work on your stick handling with, and um, the roll-up shooting pad is a great one. So let me go ahead and I'm going to show you some of the features of this roll-up shooting pad. Um, first, as the name tells you, it's a roll-up shooting pad, so it is a flexible surface. Now this is a benefit, but there's a little bit of a drawback to it as well. Um, the way that it's flexible basically um, will allow you to roll it up and store it or bring it with you to the rink or wherever you want to take it. But the only problem with that is that it kind of tends to retain the form. So as you pull it out of the box, first thing you'll notice is it is a little bit difficult to get it to lay down flat for you. Um, I've had this laying down flat for probably a couple hours now. It's starting to lay down a little bit better for me. But um, there are still a couple, you know, little bumps and valleys in it that, um, you know, the, the longer you use it, the longer you leave it flat, the better it will stay flat for you. But that's just one little, uh, one little warning, one thing that I noticed um, with the shooting pad. So it is, a, it's a benefit that you can take it with you, but at the same time, um, you're going to want to have it on a, uh, a solid surface underneath. So this wouldn't work, for example, in my side yard with grass. Uh, put a solid surface underneath it and um, you know just let it stay flat as often as possible and it'll be a great stick handling pad for you. Next thing I want to do is actually show you the surface, how it works, how it reacts with different types of pucks. I've got a couple different types of stick handling pucks I wanted to show you and um, you can take a look, see how they slide on the surface and uh, that way you can kind of see what we're doing here. Okay, so let's show you how this works. I've got a couple different types of pucks here. Um, the purpose of this portion of the video isn't going to be to do a detailed review on every single one of these pucks, but just to show you how they react with the uh, shooting pad. So this is the uh, standard six ounce puck. This is what you would use in a game situation. You can see it slides really nice. The thing with, with the uh, standard pucks is once you start getting a little bit quicker, a little bit more uh, you know, detailed in your stick handling, they do tend to pop up a tiny bit on you. So you can, but you can work on all your standard stuff, you know, toe drag, stuff like that. Um, next is your red four ounce fly puck. So this puck was actually specifically designed for stick handling work. So it's a little bit lighter. Um, it's made of a different type of material that actually slides really well, especially uh, it'll slide well on concrete, but it slides really well on the shooting pad. So this is your four ounce fly puck. In theory, even though it's lighter than a real puck, once you factor in friction, it's supposed to be about the same uh, weight and feel as a real puck. So um, you can see, works really nice. You can start doing you know, a little bit more speed with your, uh, with your stick handling and it'll still stay flat for you. Um, next you've got your 8 ounce fly puck. Same concept as the 4 ounce except that it's weighted. So this is where you're actually going to be working on your, on your wrist strength. Again, slides real nice. You can do speed drills with it if you want to. A very nice puck. And uh, again, the surface, the surface area of this pad really lets you get some good range of motion. Next is uh, one of my personal favorites. This is the Green Biscuit. Um, this one actually slides, uh, it slides really, really well on the pad. Maybe even better than the Fly Pucks, but um, it is a little bit lighter. So here's the Green Biscuit. The way the Green Biscuit is built is there's actually, it's almost like a hinge, is there's a little bit of give in the Green Biscuit. And what that does is it allows it to um, stay flatter. Even, uh, even flatter than some of your other stick handling pucks you'd see. But you can see slides real nice on the surface. That one's a fun one to work with. Uh, and then you've got some of your stick handling balls. So this is a smart ball. Um, if you haven't heard of the smart ball before, basically it's the same weight as a puck and the diameter of the ball makes it so that it hits contact point on your stick is the same place that a puck would hit. So um, another really good tool to have 
And obviously with the ball, um, you're not limited to using it just on a skill pad. So there's your uh, smart ball. And then you've got your Swedish wooden ball. Now this is a super lightweight, basically made for developing quick hands. So you can see, a lot of cool stuff you can do with the Swedish ball. But that is, uh, that's how you use it. So obviously the two balls, you can use those uh, on the skill pad or off the skill pad. But um, if you want to save your stick, you definitely want to use them on the skill pad. So there you have it. So the Hockey Shot Roll-Up Shooting Pad is available as a standalone item, or you can also get it as part of the Extreme Passing Kit, which would mean it would include the Extreme Passer. So either way, it's a phenomenal skill pad and something I definitely recommend for working on your stick handling or shot.